Hi everyone, welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Vegeta in Premium Color Edition. Now, what this means is basically uh, there has been a release of this figure before, and they've changed up the colors, so we've got a little bit of extra shading and whatnot, and the hair is the most different uh, bit of color on this guy. It's a much deeper yellow with some, like, kind of orangey kind of tones in there, as opposed to the very light yellow, almost white that it kind of fades out to. But I definitely do think that this version right here looks absolutely amazing. Just to let you know, you can get this at Big Bad Toy Store. The link is on the screen now and in the description as well. All you have to do is type in Vegeta on the search and you'll actually find this figure and the new one which you can pre-order. And that one is actually coming out with the body of uh, this trunks right here. So here we have these Super Saiyan trunks which I will be reviewing soon after I have reviewed this uh, premium color version of trunks. And uh, basically, uh, you can find that Vegeta on there for pre-order, which will be coming out very soon. And so I'll be comparing this body with the Trunks body as well, so you can see the differences between those. I will get that Vegeta as well at some point, so stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you want to see these Trunks reviews and also that Vegeta that's coming out. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. As you can see, it says uh, Funimation, so it is mainly based on the anime right here. And then on the back we have a, a few poses that you can go ahead and get him in. So, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what he comes with. So, accessory-wise, uh, you don't get the standard head because it's just a Super Saiyan uh, figure. So, you just get these three heads right here. So, you get Smug looking to the side, Angry looking to the side with the vein, and then just like a standard stern kind of face. Love them, you can get a ton of poses out of those. Would have liked, obviously, just the standard, you know, black hair Vegeta as well, but never mind. Hand-wise, you get fists, uh, karate chop looking hands, open blast hands, uh, semi open blast hands. So, you know, you get a good amount right there. But we don't get any blast effects. We don't get any, like, stand or anything like that. And we don't get the folded arms, which the new one does actually come with. So uh, that would have been a nice accessory, but never mind. Uh, so overall, kind of plain right here. I, I definitely think that he should have come with something else. And here is Vegeta out of the packaging, and obviously there he is sporting the uh, the combat Saiyan armor that is uh, provided by Bulma for training and fighting Cell. And besides the torso and the head, the mold is extremely similar to this style Vegeta right here. When any character in the Dragon Ball Z universe transforms into being a Super Saiyan, that is such a power boost that they usually get a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, a little bit more muscular. And uh, that is one thing that this body does not have in comparison to this one. Just as a standalone figure or stood next to other figures from the line, he looks absolutely amazing, but you put him next to another Vegeta and it's just like, well, it's kind of lackluster. It should be a little bit bigger and a little bit more impressive to me. And now moving on to the hair color, here we have a Goku right here. Absolutely fantastic figure, probably my favorite figure as of this moment. And uh, you can see that the hair also has the darker bits in between the locks of hair. Um, but for the most part, this hair is quite matte. Whereas with these premium color editions, they have a much more kind of glossy, like a satin gloss kind of effect to them, which makes them really, really stand out on display. At the same time, in certain lights, this looks extremely plasticky with how shiny it is so I'm not really sure I'm on the fence between the two styles and so as for the articulation for this figure it's extremely similar to that other mold obviously you don't have your shoulder pads on the arms but for the most part the mold is extremely similar to that other Vegeta so ball jointed head so looking up and down left and right side to side really nice and then you have your neck there on a ball joint as well so you've got pivot right there the shoulders can come out to the side rotate all the way around and then also there's a double peg inside there so they can move around inside that joint which does look kind of ugly without those shoulder pads covering them up at times and you have your rotation at the upper part of the arm, double jointed elbows, and then you've got your ball joint here at the end of the wrist and also a hinge there as well so it can move up and down and in and out and stuff. Uh, you have your double ball joint in this part of the torso so you can go left and right, up and down, and then also you can uh, kind of open it up and get even more and it collapses down nicely to cover that. Now the newer one looks like it has a much better articulation which is actually right here as opposed to right down there. Legs come out to the side, go forward and back and rotate right there as well. They don't like move up and down or anything, they just solid there. And then we have the double jointed knee, and then we have down here the feet that are on ball joints, so they move side to side. You have a bit of ankle pivot, can move forward and back a bit, and then you have your toe hinge there as well. And if you want to change out any of the accessories, for the head it's as simple as just pulling off the face like so. 
And let's go ahead and swap it out for this one right here. Just pop that straight back in. And then for the hands, just go ahead and give them a pull. And then the new one goes on just like so. So you can see just how easy it is to go ahead and interchange everything. And just so you know, this is probably how I'm going to have him displayed. So should you get this Vegeta knowing that there's a new one coming out? Well, if you like me and you love him and you want him displayed in different poses and everything, you can have it all there at the same time without even interchanging heads and stuff. Plus it's a different mold and everything. So in that respect, I would definitely say go ahead and pick it up. Uh, if you only want one Vegeta, I would say Super Saiyan. Maybe wait until I've reviewed the new one and then we'll see what that's like. Or, I would definitely say if you just want the best Vegeta, I think that this is a much more iconic look. His original, like, Saiyan armor and everything. With the tail and with the scouter and everything. Um, plus, this guy comes with the blast effect and the flight stand that I actually use in most of my videos for thumbnails and stuff. The flight stand is the one that came with this guy. We don't really get that kind of stuff anymore, so hopefully they start bringing out flight stands and stuff with a lot more of their action figures. But obviously the unique thing about this Vegeta is the fact that it's the premium color edition. So if you really, really like that look of the hair, then that's the biggest draw for this. If you just want the standard version of this Vegeta, it's older, it's going to be a lot more expensive. So you may as well just get the newer one. So, so if you enjoyed the video, guys, go ahead and give it a like. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more pictures of anything else from my collection, go ahead and check out my Instagram. It's hermino 123 and the link is in the description below. And if you want to see more Dragon Ball Z reviews, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.